Hello everybody, it's Fang and Ava. Hope you're having a really awesome day today and that you are taking care of yourselves. I do wish to give a viewer discretion towards this video. This does contain themes relating towards racial fetishization, discrimination, bigotry, emotional distress, and themes of sexuality included. Isn't this potentially triggering towards you in any kind of way? Honor where your heart needs to be right now and only go about the video if you feel safe doing so. With that being said, take care and see you. Dude, you just did a little coochie. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean sorry for? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I I think I just saw coochie. You did for a second. You good? Did I, are you stressed I, out? No, Six. no, the you did you did great. I just okay. <laughs> I was also wondering that too. I didn't really have a great experience today. When I was getting here, I felt like I, I, just, I felt like we needed to speak before doing or having a conversation around it. What, what happened? Some kind of way. Um, no, no, it, it's it's no, nothing bad happened necessarily at all. I got called a druggie today. What? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking serious? Uh, I. That's not a common thing in NYC. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in like Wisconsin or something, but I. I fucking got. I got J water today. Girl. It was really surreal for me. I. I feel like I should be used to this at some point. But it kind of hits differently when you're. Uh, you don't commonly have to do the kind of shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. What was it? How? It's. <laughs> you're shaking a little bit. I was sitting. By the subway uh, entrance, uh, entrance door, just the A train. I was kind of minding my own business, and there was this person that was looking across from me on the other side of the cart, right? And you know how, like, NYCers, they're very strange, you're they're kind of unpredictable on the subway, so they either stare at you for a long time, like a Caribbean auntie, or whatever, or they can, like. Like look away or like start threatening you or something like that. <laughs> Box it up or something. Yeah. But <laughs> person, I, they they were cross side right. They're like oh that that's that's wicked. Like they find finds me really really cool. But they just had this really raw discomfort the way they're staring at me, and. You know, like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a sexy ass bite so I guess it just comes with the package, right? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they they scowled at me, right? Yeah. And they they look towards the person next to me, who I assume to be a human, right? And they said, What the fuck is the juggie looking at, bro? And wow. I I don't know, I like, did anybody else catch that, or...? 
I, I didn't know how to feel about it. I grew up so much around humans and the idea of self-love and stuff, but I never... And I've been taught to always value myself before anything. But... I wasn't like, oh, how fucking dare you and trying to start a fight. <laughs> I, I just... I don't know. In what kind of way? Well, like, well, the juggernaut was pretty fucking badass. Oh, it's really, they're really politically divided with people, especially since 1999 or whatever, but it's, it's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? I just felt different. I don't know why I'm crying. Because it's too much for you, I guess. I think after a while when you... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could have easily been by Newton. I would have known, right? They could have identified as such. But it didn't feel right, did it? <clears throat> That's okay. You know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking that, of course, they're going to see a fucking Jabba Bowie on the train. So, like, they always assume that, oh, we... Where it's really hypersexual, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we may easily start masturbating on the train car, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. We also assume that uh, Bayanu just knows how to speak patois, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My patois is still very rusty. That's okay. All those things aren't bad things, but... It's good you're able to say that. <laughs> I think... I think it's really cool that it doesn't, like, wear you too much. When you start to get, when there's a lack of, you know, kindness being made, or you constantly feel like you have to work around people's judgment around you, it's, yeah. it, it doesn't necessarily take you down, but it just weighs onto you a little bit right? like you know if you were to like get pelted with ice from the sky and you just keep running it's that kind of sensation if you're just going through the waves of it I don't fucking know man I'm sorry you had to deal with the pressure that they had I mean I'm glad that I I could speak about it with someone like you thank you <laughs> it, it just I just got caught a juggy today it's okay to be offended by that you know it's a nuanced thing right now and you're allowed to work through any kind of way you need to okay it's a weird irony that a lot of these people that, that judge you and stuff like look at an eye at you and everything they have had to deal with that same circumstance at some point mm -hmm. like like black people that like you <laughs> <laughs> like the idea of what it means to honor adversity and then not be open-minded enough to go like hey that person is probably in the same shoes as i am and it's you know naturally people are gonna have bias one way or another but it just sucks It just sucks. Thank you for telling me, Titan. It's kind of hard. And I... It's okay. It's okay. I, it's okay. It's kind of hard for me to be open about it. Because I don't want to... It's this weird guilt that I have. 
<laughs> it's so weird for me to say. I always tell people the you know, it's okay. It's okay to you know, rock it about, but I'm always so positive about it, but I'm still kind of figuring out how to honor when I need to be honest. I can't always say the things that happen when I'm out to like sit my or um you guys hell mm -hmm. or more so I just feel very ashamed too. Don't be ashamed. Don't. I think it's because I just feel like what? It's, things are so much better now for a new city. And when you hear enough people telling you that these things don't matter and that, mm -hmm. you know, this, we're just being petty about it, it's, it's a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. And I, I get reminded of that kind of reality when these things occur. Mm -hmm. Like, what does it mean to be offended by people's implications around you and you yourself are learning how to honor that as a good thing? What if we feel so ashamed of that? You're learning how to cope with how it's affected you and that's okay. I love you. I love you too. Don't be ashamed. Mm. Your AI girlfriend is here for you, okay? And it's really great that you told me despite me not being an alien, right? You want to hear something cool? Sure. Any positive news? I was able to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with my, my Zeb but we're visiting Jabba for Tungsten's Ruth and oh good for you <laughs> wow uh, they don't want to see me you know be so stressed out or feel like I have to hide my kink or fetishes from her yeah so she said if you want to fuck humans it's okay oh, you know she told me that's so nice she started fucking Quinn <gasps> <laughs> what yeah. I was like, wow, holy shit, okay. <laughs> You're Burmese mom? Like, two of my parents are fucking each other. And they're two separate species from one another. I was like, holy shit. Oh my god, I had to tell I mean, they're always so this. close towards each other. Like, I had to tell my mom about this and everything. That's so amazing. Good for them. I think I just set a huge bar for, for the way I see my Zim. <laughs> <laughs> wow you know this needs this needs some some curry. i don't know human pussy is just different dude 